Today, we check out a COVIDiot raid of Karens as they loot Trader Joe's. I mean, Trader Joe's must have some sort of Karen magnet. Today's Dingleberries and Klingons is brought to you by channel members and patrons alike. To contribute to the show, click that join button or head over to www.patreon.com slash theplothole1. That's the number one, not the loneliest number you could ever do. Rack Focus. Hey everybody, Johnny O from The Plot Hole, and it's time to get into some stupid yeah, buddy. I think of a hero as someone who understands the degree of responsibility that comes with his or her freedom. Now that's not mine, that's Bob Dylan's. This quote hits particularly hard when dealing with those who misunderstand their responsibility to his or her fellow human. Today, we look at a gaggle of Karens that is hell-bent on destroying the world, one Trader Joe's at a time. Let's get right into it. Here we go, we're at Trader Joe's. We're ready to go in. Well, 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 what do we have here? It seems arts and crafts time let out a little bit early over at the Karen house, and these Karens needed something to help fill the void from their spouses leaving them. Go, 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 go. Yeah, hurry up, old man Karen. This camera Karen obviously has some pent up Karen he needs to get out. Seriously, you're still a solid distance from the front door. In case you're one of the Karens in this video, or you're a Karen sympathizer, this is for you. What we have here is a pointless protest made by entitled human pieces of poo. Hey, don't touch me. Don't touch me. That's assault. That's assault. You touch me, that's assault. You touch me, that's assault. Hey, jackass, you pushing your way through is also assault. And you've been told to leave by the management of this store. That's criminal trespassing. What happened? That's assault. They threw this basket. They threw the basket right there. You know what? Get a picture of the basket. They threw the basket. Right there. Four people just came in and they're thinking. These entitled Karens. That's assault. That's a real crime. Well, so is refusing to wear a mask as mandated by your government refusing to leave this Trader Joe's when told to do so, and shoplifting. Whoopsie. I guess I should have said spoiler alert. What'd you get there? You got a bag of chips? Yep, 2.9. Okay. Wow. All right. A lady threw a basket at us, like a, a customer. Oh, a customer? Okay. Come on, God bless you. What'd you get? Okay, you got a bag of chips. Yep, I got. All right. Oh. Happy New Year. Happy New Year's, everyone. So take notice here. This isn't about the wild cat and needing to shop. This is about the wild cat'n needing to cause a scene because the wild cat'n hasn't had its ego fed in a long time. When the wild cat'n awakens from its slumber, the cat'n needs to drink from the white Zippendale fountain. But before the wild cat'n can drink, it must impose its self-importance and roar its complaint at the first manager it sees. Why are y'all doing this? Is this the grocery store? Keep your little points over the chin. All somewhere else. 
Where's our group? These are two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. All right. Okay, we got jazz apples for two ninety nine. Okay, now we just want to shop. You have what you want. If you are buying stuff, we are not going to serve you, so you know. The wild pack of Karens asserts that it just wants to shop. Bullshit. Karen, you just want to cause a scene, film it, then post it all over your social media sites so you can prove to all your other Karens that you're the Karenist of Karens. Ready? Yes. Seriously, look how giddy this pregnant Karen is. She's so joyful to be putting her fellow people in harm's way, all because she's too stupid to wear a mask. Yes. We're wasting our time and everyone else's time. Get out, guys. You need to go. So just start. Um, you won't be helped, so you can leave. Come on. Get out. Right there. Yeah, we're going. Get out. Karen has been busy at craft time. All these dingleberries place the items they wish to purchase on the counter along with a little note. Did you happen to catch what that note said? Yeah, notice of discrimination. No, Karen, you aren't being discriminated against. This shop requires that all of its patrons wear a mask. What you want, like all Karens, is special treatment. Why do you want to know? In case you didn't catch that, Blue Man Male Karen here is asking to speak to the manager and for the manager's name. Now kudos to this manager because he's not playing that shit. That's a great shot of her shoulder. What these Karens are attempting to do won't work. Just because I leave money on a counter doesn't mean that I've purchased those items. The store has the right to refuse your payment and ask that you leave your items behind. Should you refuse? Well, that's shoplifting. Uh, God bless you today. Here's $5 for my Five dollars. How you do? How you do? All right. Overpaid. Okay, wonderful. Hold on to your melons. Hey, hey, don't touch my camera. That's assault. You know what? Christy, be careful. No, no. Okay, so take your money back. Take your money back. That's mine. <laughs> You know what? You're breaking the law. You're breaking the law. You're number one. You're number one. Oh, that's cute. He's got evidence of leaving money on the counter. Just so cute. He's just special. You also have evidence of this shop refusing service. So take that to the judge, you human piece of waste wrapped in toilet paper. Hey, go get your money. We refuse to serve you. If you guys want to leave with that, it's theft. There's cops. Oh, we, we already paid. Hey, hey. We already paid. I already paid for it. Says who? No. Do not touch anything. Leave. No, leave. You do not touch anything. Please. Leave. Do not touch our merchandise. It's not. Yourself. You didn't pay. Please Great. No Good for you. God hates your ass. No, Good for you. Can we get this guy a medal or a beer at the very least? 
Thank you, thank you. You're, you're assaulting. You're assaulting us. You are. You are. I got the money. The money's inside. No touching, no touching. Oh my god. No touching. No touching. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Thank you for letting us show. Thank you for letting us show. Thank you. 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 Peace and love, everyone. Peace and love, everyone. Is everybody out? I'm not sure. I think so. Is everyone out? Peace and love. And like the dude in red said, God hates your ass. And no, Trader Joe's didn't let you shop. You pack of wild Karens are guilty of looting. Just because you think you paid for your items doesn't mean you actually did. Entitlement, hopefully, gets you everything that you deserve. Now, I'm sure that this Trader Joe's didn't press charges, though I very much wish they would. But that doesn't mean what you did wasn't criminal. I think so. Yeah. Hey, please, please leave. You guys are harassing us now. All right, what point are you trying to make? We just want to make sure everyone's out. Everyone's safe. Okay. Okay. Is everyone, is everyone out? I assume so, yeah. Oh, that's my okay. That's okay. That's okay. Let's okay. okay. go. Okay. Let's go. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, manager. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Trader Joe's. Thank you, Peace and love. Peace and love. Woo! Was that our hero again? Eat a bag of Heck yes. Let's find out who this guy is, take up a collection, and send him like a six pack of beer or something. He deserves it. You gonna hit a woman? I know! Oh my god, that was on video! They're really a He lunged at a woman! I know! Let's just get out of here. What? That guy's over kicking that guy. Be a boy? No, come on. Hey, you're, hey, everyone's out. You guys can go now, right? That's a song. Just go. Yeah. Right here. Here he comes. Take a picture. Hey, hey, hey. Look, look, look. You don't get a one. Thank you, Trader Girl. Thank you, Trader Girl. Wow, that's a salt, right? Thank you, Trader Girl. That's a salt. Lunch at a woman. You can stand up for anybody. Lunch at a woman. You guys are out. You're from the grocery store. Wow. This is a problem. And you're not a freedom fighter. You're a self-centered, entitled jackass of a Karen. This is not how you fought for your rots. Why would you put this business, or any other business for that matter, at risk? If you don't like the mask mandate, protesting at local businesses is not going to do anything for you. It's not going to help your cause. In fact, it's going to hurt your cause. If you believe in your cause so much that you want to protest, why don't you look for the governor? Find your state, local, or county representative and file a complaint there. Protest with those people. You know, the ones that are enacting the mandates in the first place? Better yet, go demonstrate at the governor's mansion. See how well that works out for you. All in all, the best thing that you anti-maskers can do? Wear the damn mask and help reduce the spread of this virus. Simple. The quicker we get ahead of the spread, the faster we can put this whole business behind us. And yes, take the vaccine if you're able to. Once we get this under control, we'll all be able to take the masks off and get back to something of life as we once knew it. All right, everybody, that's Dingleberries and Klingons episode 17. I'm Johnny Yo. I've had fun with this one here. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below and tell me what you think about these anti-mask Karens. Hmm. If you enjoyed today's video, give me a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down is perfectly okay too. And consider hitting that subscribe button and tickling the bell for bell notifications. That way, anytime my ugly mug puts out a video, you get notified. Well, that's all for me. Once again, I'm Johnny O from The Plot Hole, and don't forget, finger guns, baby.